everybody. Welcome to vlog number 87. So, did you miss me? Probably not. <laughs> Who would? Anyway, so yes, lots of time has passed since I did a video. Obviously, because I was on the road to recovery from my surgery. So, yeah. Wasn't able to do videos very much. But, several weeks have passed. I'm back to work and... Yeah, most of the pain's gone and stuff. Still waiting for the scars to heal and some of the swelling to go down, but that takes a little bit of time, so I'm not going to rush anything because rushing is bad. Haste makes waste and all that good stuff. So, I'm just taking it slow. Most everything at work is, is okay for me as long as I don't, like, pick anything up by squeezing it because that is this muscle group and that muscle group still a little bit sore so gotta be careful on that note but anyway so yeah so now I know what it's like to go under anesthesia that was probably the strangest thing that has ever happened to me in my life so far one minute I'm sitting there talking wide awake and the next minute I'm in a different room and they're telling me to wake up and like the hell just happened <laughs> I don't know I thought there would be like a little drowsy state where you're kinda like uh, and then you go out but nope one minute you're wide awake and the next minute you're down so of course most people that are watching this probably already know that because most people have had surgery by now but this was my first and yeah so that was a little interesting and not much to tell I don't really remember a whole lot obviously my mom was great though she drove me down there and drove me back and she set up a little you know folding chair by my bed and had my pills painkillers and all that stuff muscle relaxant and and antibiotics and stuff and then you know there's some food and some a magazine and something to drink and stuff so I didn't have to really go anywhere not that I didn't have a lot of entertainment I mean I have my TV I have like my video games and stuff but oddly enough I didn't really play a whole lot of video games when I was recovering until at least about the second week I remember there was one day where I played video games for like eight hours straight, but for the first week I didn't really do a whole lot but sleep and eat because yeah I didn't really want to be awake because I was kind of in a lot of a lot of pain. Hydrocodone is pretty powerful stuff, but it really didn't do everything. But the interesting thing was I had my surgery on the 11th or no on the 10th. The 11th is my birthday, so it would have been, like, even more awesome if I could have had it on the 11th. And my mom's like, oh, yeah, you were, like, really nuts when you came out of anesthesia. You are like, singing and you sang happy birthday and stuff. I'm like, hey, it was my birthday the next day. That was my birthday present to myself. That's why I was singing it. So, yeah. But... It's like she's one to talk. She came out from under anesthesia once and I carried on a whole conversation with her for like 10 minutes and she didn't remember any of it. She's got no room to talk. So anyway, yeah. It's summertime now. It's not really nice out today. It's kind of rainy and cruddy. And... But hey, we've had some 90 degree days already. April 1st it was 90 degrees. I couldn't enjoy it because I was sick. And it was in 90 degrees a couple days ago, and yeah. My last uh, follow-up appointment, it was it was pretty warm that day. Not that I was a, not that it was a happy day. It took me like 40 minutes to get down there for like a five-minute appointment, and then 40 minutes back home. And my car stereo broke on the way down there. 
I was using a little tape deck adapter thing for my MP3 player, and now the tape deck's broken, so doesn't play CDs, can't use the tape deck adapter, I hate the radio, so I'm going to have to get into this car stereo. <laughs> but this time, I sh it will have an auxiliary port, so I'll use that to plug in my Zoom, because, yeah, I hate listening to the radio. Even, like, satellite radio isn't that great, because... I don't like someone else telling me what I'm going to listen to. I like to listen to what I want to listen to and have my song list there. I have like six gigs worth of songs. I know, I know, for a lot of people, you're probably saying, wow, that's not very many. Oh my god, I have like, you know, a hundred gigs of music on my computer and blah, blah, blah. Well, whoop do you freaking do? I'm kind of picky when it comes to music. Actually, I'm not really that picky, but... I'm kind of picky when it comes to getting music. I'm kind of lazy that way. I don't really like to go and, and buy CDs or download things on iTunes and all that crap. <sighs> I guess either I'm lazy or I'm cheap. I don't know. Take your pick. But I got enough songs for my liking and 6 gigs is fine because... The most amount of driving I usually do is like two hours, and with that many songs, you don't really hear anything over again within two hours, so I'm good. I just have to get a new car stereo. That car has been through a lot of things. It's on its second paint job, because I got it painted about this time last year. Unfortunately, when I had to go get the steering fixed like a few weeks ago, someone keyed it, so... Gotta make a little trip to the body shop and see if they can't fix that up. That's like a big problem in town now. People keying other people's cars. Interesting thing about that car is, though all the things that I've done to that car, the least amount of work that I've had to do is on the engine. <laughs> when I bought it, uh, it's like a month after owning it, I had to have the head gaskets replaced. And that's the last time that engine's ever been looked at. I've had problems with, like, steering. I've had problems with, like, the O2 sensor. I've had problems with, like, alternator belts. I've had problems with uh, the compressor for the air conditioner. All sorts of things. But not the engine. Freaking good Mitsubishi engine. So, yeah, as far as the engine goes, that car will be with me for the rest of my life. Still gotta work on the Trans Am now. Wanna get that worked on this summer because since I've had it returned to me, haven't done a whole lot with it. But anyway, yeah, you can tell how long it's been because my roots are like horrible. They're all like brown and crap. I'm not dying it blonde again. This is it. This is this. Is, I'm gonna have it. Uh, Taken care of next month. I'm gonna get it cut to shoulder length and have it dyed black, and that's gonna be the end of blonde for a while. I really, really hate doing that, but it stresses my hair too much. I mean, my hair used to be a lot longer than this, but every time I seem to uh, make it blonde, it keeps getting shorter and shorter and shorter because it keeps breaking off. Don't really, don't really like that. I do look good as a blonde, though. I have, I have to admit, I, I was happy with this color. I really was. What are you going to do? Oh, well, after my hair recovers in a couple of years, I'll probably do it again because, yeah, I like it. So, anyway. Yeah, so, surgery is done. I, you know, these are... These are real. These are mine. <laughs> no. No. Pull it. Pull it down. See those? Yeah, that's 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 all me. I'd show my scars, but I'm pretty sure nobody wants to see that. And on top of that, I'm pretty sure the video would get flagged for that. So anyway, yeah really don't have any too much to say right now. I'm 
there's not really much else to tell you. So I guess I just throw up a video to show everyone that, yeah, I made it through my surgery and I'm all done and yeah, everything's going great. So I guess I will see everybody next time when I do a vlog. Not really sure when that's going to be. Hopefully after everything's healed so I can show a little bit more of the uh, final results. But yeah, so anyway, I'm a C cup now, so But I can't wear an underwire bra for like about three more months. So I got a little time to uh, get some money ahead before I have a uh, Victoria's Secret shopping spree for some good quality, comfortable bras. Gotta wait. Anyway, I'll see everybody later. Bye bye.